Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix 500 internal server error in Google Chrome. So this will be applicable for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. The very first thing that you have to do is you need to update your Google Chrome browser. How you have to do, open your Google Chrome. On the very right in top, you will see the three dot. Click on it. Then you have to hover up on help and then click on about Google Chrome. So now you will see that it's checking for the updates. And right now on my end, it says Chrome is up to date. But if you have the updates available, it will automatically update it and will ask you to relaunch the browser. So if you have the update available, follow the instructions, relaunch the browser and check back that if this fix the problem. And even if not, then make a click on the very top on the three dot click on settings from the left hand menu option click on privacy and security then click on clear browsing data now here it will be set to basic you have to choose the advanced app and in the time range you have to choose all time now here you have to leave Passwords and autofill form data unchecked. Rest, you can check all the boxes. Then click on clear data. Once done, from the left hand menu option only, click on reset and cleanup. Then click on restore setting to their original defaults. And then click on reset settings. Once it's been done, close the Chrome browser. Now on your Windows 11 or Windows 10 search box, type ncpa.cpl. From the suggestion, choose ncpa.cpl control panel item. And here you will see all kind of your network adapter. So you have to choose the one through which you are connected. So if you're connected with Wi-Fi, then choose Wi-Fi. If you're connected with Ethernet, then you have to choose Ethernet. Right click on it, choose properties, then look for internet protocol version 4, double click on it. And by default, it should be set to obtain DNA server address automatically. You have to choose the below option that says use the following DNA server address. Check this box and in the preferred DNS address, you have to type 8.8.8 .8 and in the alternate, you have to type 8.8.8. 4 and 4 then click on ok ok again and now after doing this restart your computer and check back i'm very sure that the problem will be fixed and if yes please consider subscribing to the channel like the video and still if you have the problem then please let me know in the comment section and i will see you in the next video bye bye